Hi, my name is Eric Tenner, and I'm author of the ebook, 22 Ways to Get More Clients for Your Dog Training Business. In this video, I want to talk about a whip wielding billionaire that can help you get more referrals. And, um, you know, I got some, when I sent this out as an email, and wrote an article about this. I got some people that were upset with me talking about a whip-wielding billionaire that spanks his girlfriend. But this whip-wielding billionaire really can help you get more referrals for your business. And the thing that you have to understand is that I am just the messenger. I'm not saying that I condone spanking and having whips and all that kind of good stuff. So basically, what I'm talking about is I'm talking about... A character that's in a book and this book exploded it went viral like crazy what happened is this book in nine months time went from zero nobody knew about the book to being a number one New York Times bestseller approaching 20 million in sales it's amazing how this book went and the book that I'm talking about is 50 shades of gray I have not read this book my wife has because she, like my, like myself, heard about it everywhere she went, and she picked it up and she read it. She said it was a good book, and she enjoyed it. And the thing that I didn't understand was over the summer, I didn't understand why everybody was talking about this book. What made this book so great? What was so, you know, um, what was so special about it? And so I started looking into it, and I started watching videos of these women talking about this book, and I started reading different articles, and I really can't put my finger on why this book exploded the way it did, but I will say that I think that it has a lot to do with communication between men and women you know guys don't communicate that well but supposedly this guy this billionaire communicates really well with this girl that he's involved with another thing the book is kinda racy it's kinda one way I heard it was it's kinda porn for moms <laughs> if there's such a thing but anyways again don't get upset with me I'm just explaining what uh, I've I've learned but the big thing is is the book stood out I think the combination of this character being kind of this dominant guy who can also communicate with his girlfriend and it being very racy it really stood out for a lot of readers because if you read any of the reviews in this book it's not great it's not very great writing the stories eh, but it took off and I think that's the reason why so the thing that you have to do in your business is if you want to get referrals is you have to you don't have to start carrying a whip around, start spanking your girlfriend or anything like that. But what you have to do is you have to stand out. You have to really make your customers go, whoa, this is a great business. And it's not that hard to do that. Because this book, a couple people read it, they told their friends, their friends told their friends, their friends told their friends, the next thing you know, it was all over the place. And that's what you need to do in your dog training business. You need to impress your customers to the point where they're telling people about you. And this is not hard to do because most businesses are not very good at doing follow-up, at thanking their customers, at doing anything to stand out. Think about all the businesses that you've gone to over the past year. Has anyone th sent you a thank you card? Has anybody invited you to a customer appreciation day? Has anybody sent you a good newsletter? Probably haven't. If it, they've probably got your money and that was the last you ever heard of them. So all you got to do is just a couple of things. You'll stand out from your competitors. And believe me, people will start talking about you. And you'll start to get the referrals. Once that word of mouth generates, it can take off like wildfire. So go ahead and do that. Don't forget, you can get my free ebook at marketingfordogtrainers.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.